Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, how's it going? So, today we are trying to storm chasing. Well, I'm trying. I'm by myself today. And um, these days have been a little bit rainy and cloudy. And in today and tomorrow is supposed to be quite stormy. And the forecast said there's going to be some uh, thunderstorm as well on the area. So I went out took my car and uh, went out uh, outside of Madrid and uh, tried to catch them. Uh, it would be nice to see it on time lapse because you know, the clouds today are quite interesting. There are a lot of uh, cumulus nimbus around and uh, yeah, yeah, they're quite, they're quite beautiful. So I've been driving around to find uh, a good spot. I, I would like to get some poppies, red poppies. Uh, but uh, I'm, I think it's still a little bit earlier. I think this kind of flower is coming out in early May, maybe uh, middle of May. So yeah, today only I got only green field, and it looks good. I know. I mean, it looks really good. I actually found a spot where you can see the four towers from here, so I might get out the 100, 400 as well. So yeah, let's go outside and see if I can get something otherwise i'm trying to find another place uh, and see hopefully we we got lucky today Actually, I changed my position, <laughs> so I'm looking this direction because there are nice uh, cloud formation over there, and also there is this uh, road that is leading uh, to the clouds, so it looks pretty pretty cool. Um, I got my 1424 uh, today, and I haven't shot a lot with this yet, so hopefully today we we'll get some nice uh, time lapse with it. So yeah, I we, I am at the 14 millimeters. ISO 100 and uh, F4 and see I think I'm gonna shoot uh, with an interval of uh, two seconds one or two seconds so you can see it'll be a uh, nice movement a smooth movement I don't, I don't like to see the clouds moving too fast so yeah let's try this Okay, so what I'm noticing is that there are so many cumulonimbus all around me so which is a good thing so I can basically uh, see it from a distance so for example there's uh, one over there that looks incredible so I I shot I'm shooting with the the 100 400 to be close up to see it going you know bubbling up the, that, that kind of time lapse I, I love the kind of time lapse but then there is another one just over here, look at this. This is going up and looks like uh, there's uh, some uh, low clouds, like storming low clouds that, that looks good. So in this case, I wish uh, I had the two A7R3 to get a couple of shots because I want, I want to still vlog with it, with this one. So I can, I can show you what's going on while I'm here. So um, I'm gonna take a, it, does, it doesn't take a lot from this one. I think it's gonna take another five minutes. So should be alright. I mean, once it's done, I will change it and put it in this direction because yeah, this one is definitely looking much much better, and it's and it's quite close as well, much closer than that one. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Oh yeah, there is definitely some movement over there. It looks pretty sick. Wow. So I reshot, I mean, I repositioned the, the camera 
with a little bit wider and looking a little bit on the left as well because there is another formation another clouds coming in and you can see the semi-circular of the storm just below a little bit better and, and the cloud just in front of it just boiling up uh, uh, on the sky it looks amazing there are a couple of clouds as well forming on that direction so maybe after this I'm um, take the, the car and and drive a little bit to see if I can get those somewhere else because now I got the the the, the road in front of me and I don't like to see the cars passing by so yeah that's what I'm doing I think uh, yeah I don't think it's gonna see some lightning unfortunately but I like I like uh, the clouds formation and the structure that they have ah. Yeah, I love this kind of time lapse. Uh, I I don't make it the ma the many because the I think here in uh, in Spain there is a little bit less uh, probability to get these kind of clouds. But when there is a storm uh, around the corner, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, shooting with the one second interval, so you can get a really smooth time lapse uh, and a uh, movement of the clouds. And that's it for now. I, re I really love this cloud. Man, I, I love this cloud. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Look at this! This is amazing. You got lots of rain uh, on below the clouds. So yeah, I didn't expect to get this stuff today. Well, I was hoping to, but I didn't expect it. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. Quite happy. So um, I want to just to share with you how to predict more or less what's going on around uh, uh, a storm. So basically, I use few apps. I go. I go an app called Storm they will basically Storm Radar is from uh, the weather channel so basically it will tell me uh, the behavior of the clouds and the uh, and the storms as well so clouds rain uh, wind uh, so yeah th that one is quite interesting and it gives you a forecast of around uh, three four hours so I can see more or less where the clouds gonna be and if it's gonna be a, a nice storm and then another one that I'm looking at uh, is as well my radar which is quite nice it's not as precise as uh, this uh, a storm but it is uh, it's quite uh, it's quite good I also check uh, windy.com to see uh, all the clouds movement and the precipitations uh, and the forecast and this one is I think one of the more reliable at the moment so yeah, those those three three apps is the one I check for this kind of storm. I'm checking other apps just to see the weather how it looks like, but uh, yeah, for the storm, those three. So yeah, now we wait, and I'm gonna see this this bad boy moving through the through the frame. And what time is it now? It's almost five o'clock. I don't know, I'm going to wait until maybe before sunset to see if we, if we go some nice light as well. Uh, and I'll keep you updated. Okay, I think I'm gonna get my last shot because, I mean, that's incredible. And then that's it because I got a storm coming on my 
on my back so and, and it's going this way so I'm gonna get I'm gonna go wet if I stay here so I think for today yeah I think for today I've done enough already f uh, fill up the 228 gigabyte uh, SD card that I have and I'm choosing with the 64 gigabyte uh, now so yeah <laughs> I I got tons of time lapse today so I think I'm not gonna stay for the sunset maybe I will come back tomorrow because uh, tomorrow again should be something like this as well but as well on uh, uh, for sunset so yeah Whoa, yeah uh, windy the wind is picking up so yeah I hope um, you enjoy it this little uh, storm chase this was my first time I hope, I hope it's gonna be more in the future because I, I love this I really love this and um, unfortunately no lightning a little bit of rainbow but I don't know if I, if I actually got it because it was really uh, a small rainbow in the distance so I don't know I don't know we'll see so hopefully you're gonna see all the result after this so remember if you want to get my ebook you can get it on my on my website they are now available for all the three languages italian english and spanish and that's it uh, if you want to see more videos like this subscribe uh, to my channel i think um, i hope it's gonna get more busy now because now it's we can go outside a little bit more from may so hopefully I'm gonna get more vlogs. Uh, yeah, so subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.